Hello everyone, my name is Jenny. I'm a chiropractor located in Taupo, New Zealand, originally from a place called St. Louis, Missouri in the United States. So today is my first video. I just had an astrology reading by uh, Miss Sue in New York with her friend Paula and we kind of talked about a lot of interesting things. If you ever have a chance to do a natal reading, it's actually really cool and very affirming I guess that's the word affirming of what it is where it is that you've been where it is that you are and where you may be currently looking to expect um, coming ahead and just give you a little bit more breathing room to accept what is and what's coming and so I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my journey originally from the States and how I immigrated into New Zealand is a question I get asked quite often, usually every day, and someone was always asking, well, what brought you over here? What inspired you to move out here on your own? Um, how did you do it? Um, were you scared? All very common questions that I get, and I think most of it comes from because it inspires people of, if you can do it, well, why can't I? And I think the same thing. Having done this experience really has taught me that you can manifest anything you want in life. Yes, you are that powerful, you are that brilliant, you are that capable of doing anything that you want to do in life. And this is what inspires me to share my story, is to hopefully inspire you to live out your truth and your journey and do what you love to do and what you want to do. I think that's the most important thing um, to get to do during this lifetime, is to be able to live the life exactly how you choose to and how you want to. And so we begin with my story. So while I was in my last year of chiropractic school, there was actually in my second year of chiropractic school, um, you're, it's normally a four-year program. And so during the second year, there was a project in philosophy. And it's where do you see yourself practicing? Where, where do you want to set up your life and set down some roots? Where could you see yourself? And I did mine on two whimsical areas, Hawaii and New Zealand. Um, I just, there's a lot of research, chiropractic neurology research that comes out of Auckland from Dr. Heidi Havik, who is a PhD and a chiropractor. Um, and she has published amazing research on how chiropractic can change the brain. And so that landed on my desk and I thought, well, she's from New Zealand. That sounds pretty cool. And I knew this tennis player from college who was a Kiwi and he was really cool and so I thought why not do Hawaii and New Zealand and so as I was starting to dig into this project I reached out to a couple of people I found online and just sent them an email like what's practice like what is life like and I started to put together this presentation um, PowerPoint on New Zealand and as I was putting together these pictures and their rules and regulations how their healthcare system worked I realized this is really cool and just based on these pictures I need to go like this place looks so amazing like I just felt it in my heart that I needed to go and so those were the planting of the seeds was just figuring out this presentation what the lifestyle was like and then from there it literally just took off. I started reaching out to a bunch of chiropractors. I think I emailed over 40 chiropractors and one of the chiropractors that I currently work with even rejected me. I know how fun, right? <laughs> and so it's been quite a journey and of those 40 emails, three replied, two on accident. They said, oh, we thought you were already had your licensure. And so I said, no, I'm doing, I'm looking for a residency. I'll work for free for six months in exchange for um, learning from you and just serving alongside you. And so one chiropractor from Wellington, Dr. Louise Blair, absolutely amazing. She basically told a complete stranger, yeah, come on over. And so from there, I literally bought a one-way ticket to New Zealand, had maybe 3500 in my bank account, um, two suitcases, and literally came over here by myself with no income, no job, no family, no friends, nothing. I literally came out here on a string of hope. And that's what I hope you realize is literally jumping without knowing where I was going to land. And luckily, I landed in the most brilliant, cutest little place called Wellington, New Zealand. It's, um, 
It's the capital where the government is located in New Zealand. New Zealand is made up of two islands, the north and the south, and Wellington is located just on the southern point of the North Island. Really cute city, really windy, and so literally I just worked three jobs for about six, seven months, then went back home to graduate, came back, took the exams, the licensure exams, a three-day process, past that and then started working and then I worked in Wellington area for two years and then one year ago I came here to a place called Topal New Zealand and it's literally it's been an amazing journey and I wish I could just bottle this up but instead I choose to share it with you because I think well if I can inspire you with the journey that I'm living Maybe it can inspire you to do the same with yours, to know that you are this close for making your dreams come true. This here, what you see in the background, is my vision board. That is the single hand most powerful thing I've done um, in my entire life. When I was sitting there, I just remember so many people told me no in those emails. And even when I applied to do this residency overseas, um, it got rejected. They said, no, we, you can't do this. And so I thought, wow, well, I have no one else who can sponsor me. This is the, really the place I want to go. And it was during finals week of my last um, semester before I was supposed to come out. And it was such a good... I just remember sitting inside of um, the Visceral Somatic Center and just sitting there by myself. And it was maybe 7 p.m., and that's when I got a letter back from Louise saying, you know, I think we can make this work. Let's, um, if there's anything else you can figure out on your end, I'm willing to make it work. And that, that email and that, that little bit of hope that she gave me literally changed my life and allows me to be here. Now I get to live my life here. I'm from there. Literally, she gave me that little bit of hope, and I thought, yeah, let's 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 fight this. And so I went back to Dr. Perriot's office, and I left, and I kept on getting all the papers and all the forms, and I combed through everything, and I realized there's no reason why this shouldn't be accepted. There's absolutely no reason why. And persistence is my middle name. When I want something, I know I want it, and I go get it. And I knew that this was something that just felt so right. I just needed to go. And I, and I wrote out, I folded this little paper into four pieces. And then within that, I wrote, okay, 20 years, 10 years, five years, two and a half years, breaking that down into a year and six months, three months, and one month. And at the end of the 20 years, I said, where I see myself in 20 years from this date is in New Zealand. And I, I've never been to New Zealand. I've like, you know, there's just absolutely zero connection. But I just knew in my heart that it felt so right to put those words down on that paper that I wanted to be in New Zealand. And then I, I wrote out a list of things that I wanted and that I wanted to manifest for myself. And then I broke it down. Okay, if I want to do that in 20 years, what do I need to achieve in 10 years? And then five years. And I just kept on breaking it down, breaking it down. And I did that literally weekly. And I just kept on writing and affirming. And I just knew that it was going to come true without really having a faint idea of how I was supposed to make this happen. But I just knew that it was supposed to be for me. It just felt so right. And so literally just following that, I just kept on taking a step and just figuring out a way to make it work. And then finally, I got the approval from the board and then from there bought my ticket, packed my bags, went out and literally had a fantastic time. I met a few amazing people that have literally just set me on the path that I didn't know I needed to be on. And I knew that if I didn't leave that town of St. Louis, Missouri, Granite City, Illinois, it's we always claim St. Louis, Missouri, but Granite City, Illinois. I knew if I didn't leave there, I would never leave there. It's one of those little towns that you see people, they are born there, they're raised there, they stay there for their entire lives. And nothing wrong with that, but I knew if I didn't get out of there, I would never leave. And so I thought, let's just go to the other side of the world. And it's a six month program. And then you come back and you know, you're done with your residency. But I knew after six months, I knew I wanted to live here. 
And then from there, yeah, and now I'm here. And I live under a beautiful family in Topon, New Zealand, and it's by far been the most best, the best experience that I can imagine. Anyways, sending you love and best wishes and big hugs. Anything is possible.